Today we'll be talking about a driver must be able to know which command to use at every point in time while driving. Whether it's to press the brake or anything as he's driving, he should be able to know what command to use while driving. If you want to get to a cough, you should be able to know it. That is what we are talking about today. And I want to let you know that if you know you are getting value in all this video, do not hesitate to subscribe when if you are watching it on YouTube or if you are on Facebook, follow this page and let others know about this page so that it can help the, the algorithm of this video to go all out. So many people are struggling to pass this code de la rue. That is why I am here to break it down in English with a very simple language. I'm not a professor in French language, but I read this thing. I read this code and I was, was able to pass it. That is why I said, let me now come and use my knowledge to be able to teach others that are struggling in this code. So let's go to the class. Maitrice son Vico. What does that mean? Know your vehicle. As a as a driver, you need to know your vehicle. You need to know how to control your vehicle correctly. You need to know how to use the command in your vehicle correctly. You need to know how to adapt your your speed correctly. And you need to know how to hold your your steering correctly in the, in when you are driving. So that you can reduce accident or stop it, dodge it, so that accident will not be able to happen. How can you know your vehicle? Number one, the brake. The brake is the call frenage. The braking. When you are driving, you don't brake with the surprise. That is why driver have to be very attentive. We don't break to some to to, to, to break to provocate others. And when you are on the road that is slippery, slippery means this the parage that is slippery. When you are on the road that is slippery, you need to take control so that you will not lose your total control. You will not lose it. Your total control. So because you know when you are on the road that is slippery, when you press the brake, it will it, it can throw you, you away and can cause an accident. So you need to that's why of recent all the most of the new new vehicles they are doing now, they put ABS gear. What is the work of ABS? ABS is to is to evitate that is to not to allow the road, the tire to block permanently when you suddenly press a brake. That is the work of this ABS. It will not let the tire to stop immediately. The tire will still be rolling while you, you are pressing the brake. Very strong. But the tire will not stop immediately. Because if the tire stops immediately, it can cause an accident. While you are there, you will not be releasing the brake. Little by little, little by little. That is the work of this ABS. Then the second part is the direction. The direction that you are going. The driver should be able to know his direction, where he's going. If you are going straight, you should be able to know that you are going straight. If you are going right, you should be able to know you are going right. Going left, you should be able to know that you are going left. The driver should not because the road is big and you do not cannot control your direction on the road. You are just moving up and down. You cannot hold your say whether you are going straight, driver. At your back cannot know you are going straight. They should be able to know. Think about your whole action that you are doing at the front, at their front, so that you will not put them in problem. The C part is when you are in a situation that is risky. What are you going to do? What has driver? What is the driver going to do? Number one is you have to first of all calm yourself as you are driving. Calm yourself because even if you are not calming yourself, you can cause more accidents. You have to calm yourself. And you should not fix your eyes on the obstacle. Don't fix your eyes on the obstacle. You fix your eyes, your mind, we are out to get out from the solution. Then you act. You act. You have to act fast. Not losing time in acting. Not losing time in calculation. 
you need to act on it. At the curve, which is virage, virage is curve, don't forget. You know, curve can cause an accident if you don't know how to drive very well. So you need to be very careful. You know, there is something that we have done in the that when we are doing our last lesson, which is the la circulation, we talk about central fridge that you can throw it away, but you can how to control it is the central fridge. You need to be able to know the effect, how to use the, the la, la force the central fridge when you are on the on the curve. And what are you going to do? How are you going to comport yourself when you are on the, at the curve side? You want you want to enter a curve. You have to first of all take note of the panel that they wrote there. They have, you see, you can see this panel it says it is intended to drive more than 50 kilometers. First of all, your 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 speed you have to first of all reduce because in the virage you cannot see front and you have to reduce. See, ralenti that is reduce. You have to reduce your speed so that you can be able to go along and you must be able to look very far, which is that is enough. Le plus le moins possible. You have to be able to see very, very far so that you can be able to come out of the of the cough. The next one is you have to comport more how to comport yourself when you're on the slippery road. One, when you're on the slippery road, do not press the brake. Do not brake. Two, try to hold your your wheel very well. So that you will not, it will not throw you away from the road. Try to hold it very well. Then also try to let your vehicle be. Don't don't run. Let don't run on the slippery road. That is relax accelerator. Don't press the speed. Don't press it. Don't rush. Don't run. Go little by little on it. And then also you need to when you are on the road. If your vehicle is is on the is is you cannot control it then one thing is one thing is always leave your your speed don't press it down the clutch don't press it down don't, don't always always that will make it to be running fast don't take notes then at the intersection how are you going to comport your inter when you are at the junction junction intersection main junction how are you going to comport yourself? One, you should know that junction, there's a lot of things that is going on. There may be a four-way. There may be a people, some people wants to cross. You can see somebody wants to cross. How are you going to comport yourself at a junction? One of it is you need to, first of all, slow down before you get to the junction so that you can be able to calculate what you are going to do. And also, take make sure that you know the, the priority rules. Who is the best first person to go so that there won't be accidents? Also, advertise that is notify your actions to the other passenger that is at your by other user here of the road, other people that are using the road. Also, make sure that you cross intersection very well without causing any anything on the road. Also, we are going to go to go to the person that is overtaking. How are you going to comport yourself? How can the driver comport him or herself when they are crossing? They want to they want to overtake. One, first of all, you must make sure you verify your mirror, the mirror inside the mirror, the, the mirror outside, and your angle more. That is your dead angle where you cannot see very well before you can go. And also verify, which is number two, also verify that you can do this without causing any any issue any accident and the last one said that you must make sure that no other vehicle is crossing is overtaking you you must make sure that before you you can take an overtaking thank you till we see in our next class